What are your own ideas on the subject? My own musings largely deal with time travel trajectories and temporal topography. In other words, I would map out the terrain of time and plot a course across this for various forms of time travel experiment. For example, say you want to leave location A at time A1 and arrive in location A at time B1, where B1 is before A1. This would be one sort of computation, excluding the spatial distance metric. For another example, say you want to leave location A at time A1 and arrive in location B at time B1, where, again, B1 occurs before A1. This, then, would require a spatial and temporal metric to be combined. Also, the duration of the trip is determined by the weight of one's baggage. If one performs a time tunnel experiment mentally only, it requires much less energy to attain results. If one wishes to transport their body to a target destination as well, they may do so through a portal, a wormhole, using a ship to house their body, and or as a pulsed beam of energy as data reassembled at the destination. All these models may be used separately or combined variously, and each requires its own subset type of time travel equations. For example, consider the simplest form of such a trip where a person steps directly through a time portal as though it were simply a doorway. Say this person wanted to travel to their same location, no distance metric, one second before they left, a minimal duration metric. So the duration of the portal would be zero. The duration of the jump would be negative one second. And the location for the portal would be the same location as the target destination. The expression for this as a time travel equ equation would be bracket parentheses x1 comma y1 comma z1 parentheses plus parentheses lowercase t zero parentheses times or multiplied by parentheses uppercase t one parentheses, close bracket, equals bracket, parentheses, x1, comma, y1, comma, z1, parentheses, minus, parentheses, lowercase t, zero, parentheses, times or multiplied by, parentheses, uppercase t, minus one, parentheses, close bracket, where the coordinates x, y, and z describe a three-dimensional space. If there were a distance metric applied, their subsums would differ, though here they do not. Where the first additive sum, lowercase t, measures the duration of the wormhole or time tunnel, and where the second multiplicative sum, uppercase t, represents the duration of the jump. Or for another, more complex example, say a person wanted to beam themselves back in time to visit their grandfather before they were born. Well, one would need a time during the lifetime of their grandfather and a place, the location their grandfather lived then. If one were to beam themselves there, they would need to calculate the trajectory of this beam such that its apex or furthest point outside of the mainstream timeline should roughly correspond to the middle of their trip. This means if you live in 2012 Florida 
and your grandfather lived in 1936 Ohio, your trip's apex point would be in or around 1976 at some location, likely exactly, between Florida and Ohio. This apex point signifies the traveler's point of least influence on the mainstream timeline, and therefore the mainstream timeline's point of maximum influence on the traveler as temporal turbulence or entropic resistance. One would then, moreover, need a means of beaming themselves there and of reassembling themselves into a bodily form at their target destination as well. However, if one broadcasts this beam outside of, rather than through, the mainstream timeline, one will encounter less direct resistance overall. Likewise, if one uses a wormhole as a doorway to simply walk through, there is no need for a ballast or counterweight to swap the matter energy between the origin point and the target destination. With a wormhole, one doesn't disappear here and reappear there, as with teleportation by pulsed energy beaming. Microgravitational pulsed echolocation is more useful in temporal radar. <laughs>